Hi, welcome to SW Box. I'm Neil, and today I've got the coolest product I've ever reviewed. It is the Magic Cube. Now, basically, what it is is a infrared keyboard and mouse. Um, you can only use the mouse on computers. If you've got Bluetooth, then uh, you can shoot away your keyboard and just use this. Um, I'll show you how to change it over to a mouse, but I can't actually show you it functioning because I've only got my iPad with me. Okay, but I can show you the keyboard. We're going to do the video in a couple of sections because the light is so bright in here, the camera just cannot pick it up, uh, the keyboard. But to the naked eye, I can see it fine. Any, anybody else, if you're looking down directly down to it, you can see perfectly in daylight, it will show up. Okay, so we get it out and we Bluetooth it and then we move the camera around so you guys can have a look at the keyboard and uh, the iPad while we're typing and that sort of thing. And trust me, it is cool. It is such a cool product. Okay, so we get it out. It's got some nice packaging with it. First things first, you get this uh, care box basically with a, a quick start guide, some notes about Android. Okay, because it can be used by Android, Apple products and uh, PC, so it works on pretty much everything. And you get this user manual as well, which is very helpful if you have any questions. You also get a charging lead because it's fully rechargeable, which is handy. Okay, so we'll get that out of the way. That's the packaging and whatnot done. Let's get the unit out and have a look at it. It's in there quite stiff. Okay. Let's move that. Right. As you can see, it's tiny, really small, extremely light. Put it in your pocket if you want to take it about with you. Um, on the unit itself, it just comes with an on-off on the top, and on the bottom, there's a little pull-out. You can pull it out, and that's where you charge it. Okay. And also, depending on what Bluetooth system your product uses, it's got HID and SPP, so you can flick it over. So it pretty much Bluetooths to anything. So with that said. What we're going to do is have a look at the front. This is where it all happens. It projects your, the infrared keyboard from up here down to the face there. Unfortunately, like I said, the, the naked eye can see it fine, but the camera can't. There's too much light in here. So we're going to do the video in uh, three ways. Basically, we're going to bring the camera man around and let you guys look over, over my shoulder and look at me doing things and uh, turn out under the light. So you'll get a better picture. Right, let's Bluetooth it up. I'm just going to put a board here because the writing affects the keyboard, obviously. But on a normal desk, it's no trouble at all. So let's turn on the iPad. Turn on Bluetooth. As usual, same as normal. Let's try again. 8476. So it's connected straight away, it's obviously this. Okay, now it's all set up and Bluetoothed up and whatnot. Uh, I've turned the lights out and moved the camera man around so you can see what I'm actually doing. Uh, first things first, we'll have a look at some of the functions it can do. Basically, it's got three main functions. The first one is, if you have a PC and uh, it has Bluetooth on it, or a laptop, or a Mac, or whatever that's got Bluetooth, okay, you can turn this keyboard into a mouse as well. Uh, I have tested this on a, on a Mac, notebook and it works fine. Very easy to do. You just press the FN key and this arrow key here and then basically you can just move around, move your uh, cursor around to where you want it. If you want to close something or open something you just press enter and that will just open or close it or do whatever you want to do with it. So that's the first thing. If you want to turn that back off and get back to a keyboard you just single tap that arrow key there. Second thing is um, I think its volume is up and down, so we try that. Yeah. So it's really noisy. Or if you go down FN and down, you can turn it down to it's pretty silent. You can actually make it completely silent. Yeah, okay. So, basically, you get some more volume on it. If you want to get the volume back, you have to press FN and that each time. Okay, there we have it. Let's turn it down a touch. Now, the other thing you can do, you can turn the brightness up and down on it as well. Okay, so I think that's about the brightest it goes. There we go. Yeah. 
turned down. Okay, so they're basically the three functions. One thing I will say is it's, it's not too clumsy, it's, it is easy to use. So you can actually type whatever you want to type in. Okay, um, you know. Okay, so you know, it's not too bad to use. It does save a lot of space, it is really cool. Okay, and believe you me, in daylight, you can see it fine. The only reason I haven't shown you in daylight, obviously, is because the camera can't pick it up, but the, the natural eye picks up the, the view fine, okay? I've tried it on my desk the last couple of days, and it's been great. Okay, let's move your iPad out of the way and finish up the video. Basically, all I want to say is if you're interested in saving space on your desktop, or uh, you're just a gadget fan like me and you want something new and cool, then this magic box is definitely what you need. It's such a cool, easy product to use, easy to set up, and you know, it functions brilliantly. So, if you're interested in this sort of product, come to SW Box. Thanks a lot guys, bye bye.